What am I going to read for December? Stay tuned and find out. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today as you can see we're in a new environment. We are at the in-laws, Danielle's parents. Uh, this is actually a quilt that her mom made, so shout out to Mary Ellen. Uh, so today we're going to go over the books I'm planning to read in December. As you guys probably noticed, not a lot of things kind of happened in November, um, mainly because recovery from is October. And there's a holiday, I got a promotion, a lot of things were kind of going on, birthday, all that stuff, which a birthday book haul will be coming out soon, so be ready. Which, sneak peek, this is on there. Yeah, so these are the books I'm planning to read in December. Should have some time to get to them, hopefully. Um, but uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get started. Alright, so for the first book I'm going to show you, this is the Danielle pick of the month, the thriller pick. And that is The Nothing Man by Katherine Ryan Howard. And the little blurb in here is, I was the girl who survived the nothing man, now I am the woman who is going to catch him. Danielle gave this four stars, she enjoyed this. It's kind of like a book within a book. Kind, I wouldn't say it's like the plot, but it's the same kind of concept. Somebody's writing a book within this book that involves stuff going on in the book. So, But uh, Danielle liked it and gave it four stars, so... She hit the nail on the head with the plot, so maybe this will be a good one. So, there you have The Nothing Man by Katherine Ryan Howard. Alright, the next book up is The Snowman by Joe Nesbo. I have talked about this one before in terms of a TBR. I think I actually might have put it in last year's or most anticipated winter reads or something like that. Um, by what I remember about this vaguely is it's about a serial killer, and I think when he murders somebody, they like build a snowman. I don't think like on top of their body, but they build it close to where they died or something like that. Uh, if you've read this, let me know if that's right or wrong. But I know snowmen have like a very important like part in this book, obviously because it's called the snowman. So uh, otherwise, there's not a whole lot I really know about this. It's a major, obviously winter vibe because the snowman. Uh, it's an Inspector Harry Hole novel, which I guess there's like a whole series with him and. This is the first one I was going to read, I think, last year, but just didn't get to it, and maybe I'll do it this year. So, there you have The Snowman by Joe Nespo. Alright, next book up is Secret Santa by Andrew Schaefer. This is a Christmas short novella. Um, the blurb on the back says, All it wants for Christmas is you. And if you can see, there's like red gleaming eyes coming out of the present there. So I'm going to presume it's, I mean, it's going to be some kind of like horror novella. This came out, I think, last Christmas, and this is something I was planning to read, but just, again, didn't get to it. So it's also pretty short, not that big. But uh, yeah, it sounds pretty intriguing, especially with it being horror and then surrounding around Christmas. What else could you ask for? So there you have Secret Santa by Andrew Schaefer. All right, the next one up is Off Season by Jack Ketchum. This is also including a short novella or short story at the end called Winter Child. Um, I don't know much about this. Uh, I read The Girl Next Door by him. A very messed up book. And that's all I'm going to say about it. It's very messed up. you got to have a strong stomach for it. Um, I enjoyed it though. This book is really intriguing to me. Stephen King's actually got two blurbs on this book. The back one says, Who's the scariest guy in America? Probably Jack Ketchum. The outlaw horror writer whose terrifying first novel, Off Season, is finally available uncut. And then the front one says, if you read Off Season on Thanksgiving, you probably won't sleep until Christmas. So, I mean, Stephen King's obviously my top dog, so if he enjoys this book, I might. I don't know. But uh, it sounds intriguing, and we'll have to give it a try. So there you have Off Season and Winter Child by Jack Ketchum. Alright, the next one up is Secrets in the Dark by Darcy Coates. This is the second book in her Black Winter series. It's not true because there's four of them. Uh, with possibilities for others, I don't know. Uh, on the day this video is going up, I will be finishing Voices in the Snow, which is the first book. I'm a couple chapters in. So far I'm enjoying it. Um, it's got really creepy vibes, so I don't know where it's going to go, obviously because I haven't finished it, but if there's a whole four book series in it, Something mysterious has got to go on, and with it being a 
black winter novel. I'm presuming that it's going to be winter vibed just like the first one is. So hopefully we'll see. But uh, yeah, hopefully I get to this one. Gotta finish the first one first. And uh, this one's a little bit on the bigger side. The first one's like almost maybe three quarters to half the size. So pretty big book. I want to say the third one, I think, is about the same size, and the fourth one's maybe a little bit smaller. So, there you have Secrets in the Dark by Darcy Coates. Alright, my Stephen King pick of the month, which usually always ends up being a couple of them, just because that's what I do, um, is going to be On Writing by Stephen King, obviously. A memoir of the craft. So, I am in the process of writing my own book, uh, trying to, uh, but with everything that's happened in the past month I've had a hard time having time to do it and with December kind of rolling around over the next couple of weeks month or so I'm going to be getting a little bit more time off uh, I'm going to try to and get try and get back into writing my own book um, kind of get little spurts of like I want to write I want to do this you know and right now I'm at a different kind of spurt where I'm just kind of focused on work because the promotion you know other things are going on. So hopefully by reading this gets me more into the vibe and kind of gets me, you know, a little bit more comfortable with writing the way how I am and uh, see how it goes. So there you have On Writing by Stephen King. All right, so this is what I'm planning to read in the month of December. Again, always changing, you know, might add something, might get rid of something, usually how it always goes. Uh, let me know what you're reading in December down in the comments and uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys uh, in the next episode. Later.